Our top story, a massive fire in Rochester, Beaver County, sending four people to the hospital. A viewer sent us video of the flames just coming from that building on Brighton Avenue. And by mid morning, part of the building already being torn down. Our Bryant Reed has been on this morning, a story for us all morning, I should say, and this afternoon. He joins us live with the details. Bryant. Hey, Lindsay, this is what's left of those buildings from this massive fire in the morning. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see. Uh, you can see that uh, huge chunks of the front of the buildings as well as the side of the buildings, buildings are just gone. Now, some of that is from the fire itself. Another part is from the, uh, the fire crews knocking down those buildings to prevent any possible danger. Now, the Rochester assistant fire chief says the fire destroyed these two buildings and is responsible for the injuries of three of his own. Rochester Assistant Fire Chief Mike Mamone says the call came in around 2 30 Thursday morning on Brighton Avenue. On the bottom floors was an antique shop and right above an apartment where a man lived with his two dogs. Mamone says that's where the fire started. Crews used drones to locate hot spots from above and attack the areas that could spark again throughout the duration of this fire. Now on the ground in the midst of trying to put the fire out, Three firefighters had to go to the hospital after one of the fire hoses blew off. Now we we know we now know, excuse me, however, that those firefighters have since been cleared, thankfully, and are released from the hospital. Now in the meantime, Mamone says the buildings are a safety issue. He refused to send firefighters inside for fear of a collapse, and he says that the buildings will be torn down. We do have a collapse zone. The guys all been uh, instructed where to go and how far to stay back. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that and um, we're out the morning and we'll be here quite a bit putting a lot of water on it. Now, Assistant Chief Mamone says they're not exactly sure what caused the fire. However, that is something that they working that they are working on and working to figure out at this time. You can see behind me that uh, they are still uh, putting water on this building, just trying to make sure that everything is OK and they're not going to have another spark of fire, or even something that could potentially start small and grow into something big. Now, we are going to be keeping up to date with this fire and what exactly caused it. We will make sure to keep you updated both on air and online with the latest. In Rochester, I'm Brian Reed, KDK News.